joined right now by Dr. Anna Durbin, a professor at Johns Hopkins University. Studying experimental vaccines is your specialty, including ones for coronavirus and other infectious diseases. So thank you so much for being with us, Dr. Durbin. What are your thoughts on Dr. Fauci saying the Johnson & Johnson vaccine should have been a two-dose? It's like, oh, now you tell me. <laughs> well, I think it's important to note that what they're looking at is the durability of protection. So the benefit you got from J&J &J initially is it's one shot and it protects you for a certain amount of time. And we know that that second dose will prolong that protection. So I think that, you know, in retrospect, you may have thought, yes, it could be a two dose vaccine, but that would have meant delaying that second dose for two months. So in the end, it doesn't really make that big a difference in terms of how well people were protected. It's the durability of protection, how long they're protected. And that second dose will prolong that protection. I'm sure Johnson & Johnson is thinking right now, listen, we've got to defend ourselves against any questions surrounding the uh, vaccine's efficacy, considering this latest comment. But if people receive the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, they receive that one shot, should they stick with Johnson & Johnson or should they use another one in light of these current comments? So I think that is actually a different question, and we look at different data for that. And there was recently a preprint out that does show that if you give a J&J &J vaccine or an adenovirus vector vaccine followed by an mRNA vaccine, you can improve the immune response as opposed to giving two adenovirus vector vaccines or even to some extent two mRNA vaccines. So we have to look at the safety of that and the FDA is going to evaluate the safety of that mixed platform vaccination in upcoming meetings. And if the safety and the effectiveness look good, then I think they will recommend that mixing and matching is just fine. It's just fine. But like you were saying, it, this is not a cause for alarm. The fact is, is that if Correct. you receive the shot, it did work in your body to prevent COVID-19. However, you might require a booster more soon than somebody who received the two doses. Exactly. 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 All right. Anna Durbin, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for your uh, intelligent conversation, because we all need a lot more of that coming uh, from doctors in the medical community. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too.